In this problem, we have a guitar string that, when sounded with a tuning fork at 350 hertz, produces 3 beats per second, and when you sound it with 355 hertz, it produces 8 beats per second. So we want to find the frequency of that guitar string. This is actually a pretty simple problem. The important thing to realize here is that the number of beats produced per second is based on the difference between the two frequencies. So for example, if a 351 hertz string was sounded with a 350 hertz tuning fork, then the take the number of beats per second, you would subtract the smaller one from the larger one, and that would give you one beat per second. In the case of this problem, we have a 350 hertz that creates three beats per second, which means that the vibrational frequency of the guitar string must be three hertz away from 350 hertz. So it can either be 347 hertz, which is 350 hertz minus three, or 353 hertz, which is 350 plus three. Now let's look at the case where the, uh, the difference is eight beats per second. That one is 355 hertz, and it produces 8 beats per second, so it's either 355 minus 8, which is 347 hertz, or 355 plus 8, which is 363 hertz. And you'll notice that the only common value here is 347 hertz, so that must be the vibrational frequency of the guitar string. That's all for this problem. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out. If this video helped you, please consider subscribing as it will help me out greatly in making more videos like this. That's all for now and I hope you have a nice night. Bye bye